welcome to another episode of cranking out crafts my name is brandon and on today's episode we're going to show you how to paint windows if you have large picture windows like this um it's super fun to paint all kinds of things on it we're going to be doing a valentine's day window here and what i've done here is i've just painted a big swirly heart uh, I have the arrow pointing out from the left side, but that's actually reversed. So it's actually going to be on the right side when you look at it from the opposite side. You always want to paint from the back because um, if you paint in the front, obviously it's going to get scratched up and the paint does scratch. Um, but it, you can also see all these strokes from the outside. So you want to do it from the inside so you don't get that, that um, effect. And what we found works good is Ceram Coat. Delta Ceram Coat acrylic paint is the best. Um, I can show you what the others look like. This is tempera paint. A lot of people recommend tempera paint because it's washable. Um, but when you put tempera on, first of all, it's super chunky like that. Super chunky, but it's also like a watery, a watery consistency like that. If you go with uh, cheap acrylic paint, uh, like we have this one, Crafters Acrylic. Crafters Acrylic is also um, watered down a bit. There's uh, less pigment in it, and you can see how that one looks. It's really, really runny and you can't really see that. And now we're going to use the acrylic paint. This is Delta Ceram Coat. And this one, you can see, is really thick. Um, and it's not so clear too. And you can see how dark that is. So we like this paint. Uh, when you do paint windows though, you're gonna wanna do two coats. Once this coat is completely dry, uh, go ahead and do a second coat. This is one coat here that I've done here. And you're gonna wanna put a second coat to cover up all your brush strokes. Because if you look if you look at the, uh, the design from the outside, you'll still be able to see all these streaks so you want to cover all of that up. And also when you paint windows, you have to do it in layers. Um, so if you're going to want to do, like if you look at that arrow up here, I actually wanted the arrow to look like this, where the, the darker red is on top of the red. So I had to paint the arrow, for, paint the arrow first and then do the red coming down from the side. If you wanted, you could just go right over with the red. That would be fine too because you won't be able to see it from the opposite side. If you do do a, a big thing like this and you wanna, you want, um, like let's say, okay, well, what we're gonna do here is we're also gonna put a larger pink heart over all of this. So we're just gonna paint directly over this, a big pink heart, and from the opposite side, this is gonna show up in front of the big pink heart. If you do want to cut, you can use a razor blade and you can actually cut out your um, your paint where you want a second layer. So we can come over here and all you do is just take a, a razor blade and you can just scratch off your paint. You can also use the razor, razor blade to clean up your edges. Like all over here you can see brush strokes. Over here, there's a really thin brush stroke. You can just use that to clean up the edge. That way all of your, your edges are clean and crisp. Okay, that's it. Thank you.